Welcome to another Factorio Masterclass. My name is Nidas and I'm here to guide you on this wonderful journey of beautiful designs in Factorio. In the previous couple of episodes, we have been looking at some late game scalable, tileable science with modules and beacons for red and green science. And we are, of course, going to continue our journey into the blue science today. If you like this kind of video, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section below if you have more ideas or comments or improvement or anything like that. These videos usually start with inspiration coming from my Let's Play series. For example, I am streaming live on Twitch and I'm streaming there on Twitch TV slash Nidos and it's 8 p.m. Central European time and Tuesday, Thursdays and Sundays I play Factorio and the other days I play something else. So do come on by and check it out. So blue science or more correctly chemical science. I am going to do this. We're going to take a look at the chemical science and our objective. There are a few design parameters for what we need to do. We want to use the minimum amount of materials possible. So whenever we can, we should be using full productivity module build. And if I do any deviation for that, I will let you know, but I'll try not to. Second design parameter is the fact that I want to have on either side, I want to have a full lanes of beacons, as you can see here, so that it can scale in your base and you can simply just tile it next to each other. And the last design criteria that I must fulfill is the fact that I'm designing it towards one fully compressed half blue belt 22.5 per second, which corresponds to 1350 signs per minute. And that's what I'm designing. If you want to make twice as much, four times as much, all you need to do is stamp it down next to each other and provide the materials needed. Now let's start from the start I'm going to use, and I am now using a new mod called Rate Calculator. Well, it's not new, but it's an updated mod. Previously I used Max Rate Calculator, but now I'm using the Rate Calculator. People think that it looks nicer here. So uh, this is what we do. They're basically the same. Green meets output, red meets input. Pretty much what we do here. I want to scale this towards... I want to see how many we want of these and uh, well blue circuits is always horrible because it is producing so slowly look at this here it's producing it takes 24 seconds to get two chemical signs so it's actually 12 second craft time for one science pack and that is what we need so i am going to go here and then we have this wonderful little button that we can then slide up this is actually the part that i like the most and you can see here where we have issues uh if i have 30 that is probably a good place to be I'm going to take uh, 36 of these and just uh, have a look at that now obviously 36 of this is just a, not a bad not a good idea so uh, having these okay let's get that out of the way building 36 of these in one row is not great this is 4 this is 8 and this is 12 so you know what what if I did like this instead that's still 36 and what i'm going to do just now in the beginning i am going to get a get some power there and there these are just to cheat so while we design we don't have any blinking things and i'll at the end add the substations as we need let's have a look again what does this look like does this look good it is slightly overscaled so what if we did a subtle variation like so oops there it's now 22.663 that is more than the 22.5 that we need so this should be fine if you look per minute it is 1.35 and then a slightly more second so this one should be able to give us a half uh, a belt although um, there is something i'd like to do i'll just like to put these slightly down and I don't want to design the other ones because now if I know that I have one, I'm just going to design that and then scale it up from there. So what we have now is 12 of these and I need to figure out what am I getting inbound here. So what I want to do here is saying, well, stuff like sulfur is something I always provide somewhere else. I'm not going to make sort of in the one of these columns, make a oil refinery and oil cracking and to petroleum and into sulfur and then do here no i'm gonna make sulfur somewhere else and i'm gonna bring sulfur in on a train or robots or belts most likely since this is a mega base design it's gonna come in on a train same with red circuits 
Red circuits are used for many different things, so I'm definitely going to have a centralized location or many decentralized locations, but somewhere else making the advanced circuits because they will be used for several different builds, specifically mainly the productivity science, the purple science and the blue science. Engines, on the other hand, engines is only used for one thing, and that's the blue science, the chemical science. It is, you could say that it's indirectly used for the yellow utility science because it's used for electric engines, then for flying robot frames, and then subsequently for the yellow science. But that is not enough for me to warrant that I'm gonna bring this in on a train. So what I'm gonna bring in on train instead is iron and steel, and then make, make the engines on site. So let's have a look at how many engine, how many engine builds we need for one of these builds. So here, 5.396 engines per second. So that is our target. And what if we build something like this? And I'm just gonna build it like this, just to get some kind of spacing. And this one I change to engines, 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 engines. They are here. And I'm gonna get just this one and get a sense of it. Then we scale it up so we until we get 5.3. Uh, 5.39, uh, that is seven of these. Now I'm kind of getting a bit. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I will take the whole thing and see if I have a positive or negative number. I have a slightly positive amount of engines, which means I am providing enough engines for this build. I'm happy. So all we need now is figuring out a way for us to make for us to make the last two things, namely the pipes and the gears. Now the gears can be modulated, but the pipes cannot. Let's have a look at if we are with just this part, whether we have enough. So again, I'm looking at this, I'm needing to output 5.39 engines per second. And in order to do that, if I look at the amount of here, gears, one of these is producing, it's producing more than enough. So there is a positive number. Uh, I am producing 8.4 and I'm subtracting 3.85. So I'm good, I have a positive net rate. For the pipes, I have a positive net rate. So at this point, I now know exactly all the machines I need. And the only thing I actually honestly need at this point is just to build, build some way to get stuff in and out. So let's start by uh, by looking at this. What I'm going to do is I will have to figure out a way that up here I can bring in my this one. I want to be the inputs of. Let's uh, make use this just so we can indicate it. And I will make the two things we get from trains. I will make those on the outline. So I just want those here like that. And then I want this one outbound. Sweet. And that means I can take input input. And how many do we need of these 12? Yes. So what I'm seeing now is that this one outputs on the outside lane or the eastern side, the right hand side. That means I could get stuff in on the inside like this. And like this, I could get, if I got engines like this, then I would be able to get these inbound. Here. And I would, all I need to do is make sure that out here, I'm filtering the output on that side. So that's definitely one thing. What I can also see is that each of these are just woefully slow. So what I can do is I can just, and there I'm going to take my greens to blues. No point making any of this in with green inserters. This is going so slowly that it's just fine. So this is what I need. Now, what in order for me to do this, I'm going to have to do something similarly here. What I'd like to do 
is have this one as the inbound and this one as the outbound. Basically do exactly the same and then see if we can match it up here. And this one will be on the outside belt. I'll have that one. And on the inside belt, I'll have the gears. And on this one, I will have and steel on the inside. So what I'm gonna do is basically get the exact same pattern here. One, two, three. Kind of, oops, said the wrong thing. Like that. And I'm gonna get some input here and some, mm, how do we want this? I don't know. Uh, it would actually have to be something like this. So, okay, stop that, stop, no. Okay, I need to find a solution for this. And what I can do is just do that one. There, nice little curve. And when I do this, I can actually see that, yeah. And I could probably just move the whole thing here, one up. All of this could be moved one tile up, like that. There, there's no point in having it take up more space than it actually needs, like this. Let's try again. Engines come in here. So at this point, what do we need? We need to make sure that we can get this one Get that in here. Got it. And if I'm gonna do this build, then all I need to do is get these ones. However, we'll need to get some of these. And if I build it on this side, like that, that should also be fine. So how do I get this inbound? Well, I have a plan. Let's look at the quantities all of this if I look at how much engines how much iron I need now this remember this this iron is actually needed to provide all the 8.4 but I'm not going to use 8.4 so even the highest of high cases that this one is going to work flat out which it is not then I will have enough by having a half belt so what about actually getting just a half belt like this how about that? And then just after that, maybe just continuing onwards by blocking that one. And obviously we're gonna have some junk moving all the way up. I will remove that in a second. But if you look at this, this actually doesn't look bad. I'm gonna go here and then use that belt, but cut it off, come up here and then cut it off as well. And all this, just get that done. All right, so this is basically all I need to do. However, there are many more things that we need to do from here, but this is the essence of it. What we need to do from here is we basically need to make sure that we have several of these in place. We need to have three of those. We gotta measure the, uh, measure the throughput, just make sure that they not only is it working, but also the theoretical output that I'm make, making, can I even get that? But we need one more belt inbound and that belt inbound has to take care of the last bits we're missing. So what if I do this and I can just make that easy, something like this. And that means now we have control of our inputs all the way at the end. This is where we simulate where the train would unload, unload, and then I need to get these four things in, in such a structured manner. And once that's done, this one should work exclusively here. So that's the template. And what we need now is substations and lights to make sure that we get everything sorted. Let's get the substations first. What I'd like to do is just try to gauge how, how close do we want it. What if we do it here? That would be the absolute furthest north I could take it if I have it any further up that it wouldn't cover this one and I'd need another one further down. So what if I put one here? Where would the next one have to be? It would have to be right there. Well, that's not a bad idea. This one could be in here and then some things have to change, but we can do that. 
also then we go up here that one is at this point this could definitely be possible and this one is here well so now I, I'm kind of feeling we could do it in a better way what about if we build it here would this one also be easier if it built here yep and this one and um, maybe I don't want it here maybe I want it just a tad down so that I can more easily like right there for example right there yep and then the question is could this one where could this be done because it's kind of difficult to find a good spot so let's start by just smashing this one in and see if we can do it so I have to put one at this location I'm gonna jump over here and then the question becomes how do I get this stuff inbound well that had to be up here mm, no okay so we take it one further down right there yes and I can jump over and that can go here so now we have this one embedded and I think we can also put a light here for that matter the next one let's build it right on top of these and then you can go up and like that that is also easy to do and let's put a light here and what we don't have is actually this pipe so I'm gonna bring it at this location at this location and mm, here and that's located good I can then pick this one and two down two down two down that is now in a consistent pattern looks good that is a consistent pattern this one can go there that's good I'm gonna take the other one inbound that's gonna be easy to put in here and the last one put it in now nah, I'm gonna put it in right there cool so again with the lights 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 light 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 right so now that is the entire infrastructure and what we don't know now is how does this tile when we have three of those and does it actually provide the amounts that we need or do we have any uh, mistakes or any tweaks that we need to do sometimes because of swing speeds or swing synchronization that kind of thing you don't actually get the theoretical maximum so uh, that's definitely what we need to check but before we do that i just want to take a short moment to thank the patrons who are supporting the channel and without you dear patrons it would not be possible for me to be uh, delivering or creating all the content that I do for both Factorio, Oxygen Not Included Now, and all the other games that I'm doing on and off, uh, both on Twitch and YouTube. So thank you very much, patrons. It is really what keeps this going. Also here in the new year, I know that new year, new challenges, and I really appreciate the people who are continuing to support the channel, and also if there are new people who are choosing to support it. Thank you very much. If you want to support, there's a link in the description below. So remember, this was only one third of the whole design. And luckily the rest is just a copy paste, which also means it's much easier for you to copy paste it. For example, if you want to make another sequence, for example, this is 450 per second for per minute. So if you want to make, I don't know, 4,500 signs per minute, you just say build, build 10, of them, 10 of these and then you're good to go. Let's start by copying it and building two of those next to each other. Just like that, what I'm then gonna do is I will be merging these in whenever possible there i'm gonna go you 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 here and then i'm going to take my favorite new blueprint that one of course i'm not gonna build it on the path that would be silly it's close though but i'm not and this blueprint if you do not uh, know what it does then uh, what it does is it measures 100 tiles and then puts it in here it measures in the green the green box to the right it says it measures exactly how much is in those 100 tiles 100 belts segments and what the, the red one does is it calculates it as the average uh, for 10 belts which means that how much you are actually throughputting in terms of belt speed and for example now it would be when it says one 
170 something, then it would be 17 point something uh, outbound. And we're just gonna let it run and see that it converges towards 225 in the top one. If it says 225, then we know that it is exactly a full belt. And it should take a bit of time to, to balance out. You can see, for example, this one, I'm added, uh, mod, I'm added the mod blue bottleneck. The bottleneck mod is actually checking and highlighting the color, uh, changing the color from green to something else if it's not always running. For example, this one when it's output constrained or when it's staffed for resources, these should always be blue. And in a very long time, this one will actually be starting to be. So this one is, start, is actually start for, for you, these units. The reason why I make blues here instead of greens is because the greens will sweep, sweep up 12 at a, for each grab for the inserter. And because they grab 12, that means they are, uh, they will basically very often starve the next one because it's grabbing 12 from the belt, then there's barely anything for the next one in line. These ones should really be very, very close. We can see how close this is, but now we're up to having a plus one here but it still has to go something through here. And there we go, it comes through. And it is very, very close to not working. We want to see if all of these are working because we know, theoretically speaking, if all of these are working and they're outputting, I'm gonna do this per second, 4.62. If all of these are working, then on average, this one will also be, uh, also be getting enough. And of course, it's going to take a while just to stack up on or fill up all of the boxes and just get the average to flow through. But what we're seeing here, there's still some gaps and it really shouldn't be gaps. It's now at 222. I know for a fact that it will be better and it will get there. You can see now it stacks pretty well up on this belt and we're getting very, very close to the 225, 225. There we go. And now the question is just, will it keep being like this? If it is, then we have exactly what I promised to do, 225, no, 22.5 blue signs per second, and that will amount to 1,350 signs per minute. And what you just need to do is just, uh, if you want twice as much, all you need to do is copy paste it and figure out how to get the materials in, materials out. But that's uh, definitely something we, we have covered in other masterclasses. But we might, once we are done with this series for all the signs, we might actually come back to look specifically at uh, doing trained unloading for megabase scale size, because now you have the signs built. And that really brings us to the end of the uh, of this tutorial. I really hope that you are finding this useful, this tutorial and all the other tutorials in my masterclass series. If you find it useful, then uh, please hit the like button. It shows me and the beloved YouTube algorithm that this is a worthwhile video. If you have comments, ideas, share them in the comment section below or during the live streams. Live streams are on Twitch TV slash Needles. They're six, six nights a week and it's at 8 p.m. Central European time. And on Tuesday, Thursdays and Sundays, it's Factorio, but you can check on my Discord if uh, when I'm streaming and uh, there's always a notification there. So thank you for watching. I will see you guys either here on YouTube, on Discord, on Twitch, or maybe even on Twitter. Until next time, take care and stay effective.